welcome back to the Palatial Studios here in um, on Bristlecone Lane in Elgin, South Carolina. Welcome to those who access the podcast through our Be Young Ministry YouTube channel. And welcome back to the Be Young Ministry blogspot.com today we continue in our study of the gospel according to John we're in chapter 18 verses 15 through 18 which reads Simon Peter and another disciple were following Jesus because this disciple was known to the high priest he went with Jesus into the high priest courtyard but Peter had to wait outside at the door The other disciple, who was brought to the high priest, came back, spoke to the servant girl on duty there, and brought Peter in. You aren't one of this man's disciples too, are you? She asked Peter. He replied, I am not. It was cold, and the servants and officials stood around a fire they had made to keep warm. Peter also was standing with them, warming himself. That's John chapter 18, verses 15 through 18. The scene shifts from the Garden of Gethsemane to the threefold trial, which John doesn't cover in much detail. We find those details in the other three Gospels. In fact, almost immediately, the Apostle John places the spotlight on Peter's denial. He highlights the fact that after the Lord Jesus was carried off to Caiaphas, the high priest, the disciples ran away for their lives. But Peter and another disciple stayed around. John tells us in verse 15, Simon Peter and another disciple followed the Lord Jesus. In Mark 14, in verse 54, we learn Peter followed from a, uh, a distance. He's following Jesus, but he doesn't want anybody to know it. There's a great principle that emanates out of this. When we follow the Lord Jesus from a distance, we will deny knowing him every time. In John chapter 20, in verse 3, we read, Peter and the other disciples, or the other disciple, pardon me, went forth and were going to the tomb. Of course, this happens much later than today's text, but it gives us the identity of the other disciple. The other disciple is the apostle John. In his gospel, John never mentions his own name, never. He calls himself the disciple whom Jesus loved five times. That other disciple, another disciple, but never does he refer to himself as John. So John is with Simon Peter, and he is known to the high priest and entered into the courtyard with the Lord Jesus. He goes right in with the Lord Jesus, and John is known to the high priest. We have to ask the question, how? Well, John's mother was Salome. Salome was related to Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary was, of course, related to Elizabeth. They were cousins. Elizabeth was married to Zechariah. Zechariah was a priest. So there was a family connection with John's family. And before he became a disciple of Christ... That connection was pretty tight. So John's uncle Zechariah was a priest who did his priestly duties in the temple at the altar. Every Passover they would probably, and go into Jerusalem and into all these events, reconnect with the people that they knew in that priestly family. Because he was known to the high priest, he felt comfortable to walk in with the Lord Jesus. But Peter stood outside the door. The Apostle John boldly walks in to the presence of Caiaphas, 
with the Lord Jesus while Simon Peter remains outside. And while outside, Peter spoke to the servant girl who asks him, You aren't one of the, this man's disciples too, are you? Peter responds with his first lie about his identity. It all started with a lie to a servant girl. You'll remember earlier the Lord Jesus told Peter that he would deny him three times before the rooster crowed. In verse 18 we read it was cold and the servants and officials stood around a fire they had made to keep warm. Peter also was standing with them warming himself. It was the Passover and during the day it was a it was comfortably warm, but at night it was quite chilly. It was late into the night, and the trial was unlawful, because Jewish trials were not allowed to be held at night or in secret. So Peter is standing with the servants in the dark by the fire, trying to keep warm. What imagery we have here. You see, it's from the place of the servant that we see the Lord's ways best. Peter is suspended between his fear and his love. He doesn't want to leave because he loves the Lord. And he doesn't want to be exposed because he fears his own safety, fears for his own safety. But he hangs around trying to get a grip on what has really happened. All his self-confidence has been stripped away. He's afraid, but he can't remove himself. So he stands there, warming himself in this place of uncertainty. Trials, may I remind you, are essential in our personal intimacy with God. We would not prescribe them, but the Lord uses them to hone our heart's ability to see and to love him. Trust him today to be at work amid your unwanted frustrations. My friends, I trust this podcast is helpful to you in your walk with the Lord. If I could be of further assistance to you, shoot me an email at beyoungministry at gmail.com. Hey, have a great day. Yeah.